Okay, so how do we create an SVG file to put in our Etsy store, Etsy shop, I guess they say, uh, using MidJourney um, and sell them. So uh, on my screen, you can see here is the prompt I used, minimalistic vector icon, golden Labrador, simple black and white background, aspect ratio 16 by nine, seed 2048. And you can see the results I got. Uh, I had really good luck uh, using the minimalistic vector icon prompt uh, for SVG type work. So we can click on this, say open in browser. And here we go. I like, uh, kind of like them all. Um, let's start with number three. So I'll go to number three over here and I will upscale it. And uh, we'll go to our inbox. Here's our upscaled version. We can jump to that. I usually like to click favorites. Uh, we can open this in the browser as well. However, uh, the way I like to do this is to go to the web and I need to do a refresh to see if it pulls that in. Sometimes this takes a minute or two while we're waiting. You can see some of the other uh, SVG files I've made uh, using this process. These are still rasters in here. These are JPEG. Actually, they're uh, PNG files when they come in here. Uh, let's go ahead and do a refresh. There it is. Uh, hit the three meatballs, save image. Now it drops it in my download bucket. So from there, uh, I'm going to go to this website, vectorize.ai. Um, there's other ways to do this. I believe uh, Adobe is working on it. If we scroll down, it's still in text to image. Let's see if I can find it here. This is Adobe Firefly, by the way, uh, text to vector. It's in exploration. So this process, if you're a Adobe user, this process will soon, hopefully soon, sooner rather than later, will come to Firefly uh, and possibly uh, be included as a tool in Photoshop. I don't know. We'll see. The future will tell. Um, yeah, firefly.adobe.com um, also has text to image. We could do the same prompt here and see what we come up with. But for right now, let's stick with what we got from MidJourney. Uh, anyway, we go back to our, what do we want to call it? Uh, Vectorize.ai, I guess. Uh, and we'll scroll down until we get to the box where it says next image. And we'll go to my download folder. Hold F5. There's our little puppy dog. And we need to rename it. So I will call this uh, Labrador. The reason we need to rename it is because that file name is too big. When you get into Etsy, they'll, they'll if you try to upload your SVG file, they'll tell you that the name is too long. So all we need to do is drag this and drop it here. Let vectorize.ai do its thing. Uh, here's the raster version, the PNG, and over here we have the vectorized version. So as I scroll in, you can see that how sharp this stays while this starts to pixelate, pixelize. I don't know which one of those words is correct. Maybe you do. Uh, so from there, we can click download. And we can set our parameters here. Uh, I usually just leave them uh, the default. Go ahead and say download. Now I have my Labrador SVG. 
You could if you wanted. Maybe we will just for the heck of it. Bring that into the Illustrator. Again, I'm an Adobe user, so uh, if you're not, I apologize. But uh, if you do a lot of graphics work, you probably are. So we will quietly wait here. Uh, it's on my other screen, so we'll pop over here. There it is. Um, oops. You don't do that. We'll just do select all. How's that? Yeah, pretty simple uh, vectors. Um, so, yeah. You don't need to use Adobe Illustrator at all. Um, I just wanted to open the file to show you the uh, the vectors we get. So this would work great with your laser engraver or good with your CNC machine, but we're going to put it on Etsy and uh, sell it for 99 cents and hopefully uh, we'll get some sales. A little sip of coffee there. So let's uh, let's do that next. Let's minimize this stuff. Let's go back to number one. Go to my Etsy store. And let's add a listing. And let's call it, uh, oh, Golden Lab. Uh, Golden Labrador. SVG file dash digital download. So, and here's where we bring our photograph. I'm sure if you're an Etsy person, you've uh, you know all this. So we'll drop our PNG file. Ah, come on, come on, man. We'll drop our PNG file there. And I like to just scroll down right away and go to add core details, tell it that it's a digital file, click apply, say yes. Scroll back up. Now we have a place to upload our SVG. Go ahead and go back to my downloads. Da, 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 I'm hit a five here. Here's my SVG file. I don't want to drop it on descriptions. There we go. We can bring it right there. Uh, pa -pa. We have a title. Yeah, we'll never SVG file. Yeah, that's good. Uh, description. Here's where I cheat. I'm going to go um, to chat GPT. Bear with me. Emma, computer. Yeah, I'm going to tell Chad GBT that I need a description. Let's call that an, an Etsy description for an SVG file of a Golden Labrador. Yes, I do coding as well, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, and here's our uh, I don't need this last sentence. I'll just take it from here. Do, 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 do. Copy that. Paste it in here. That makes it easy. Um, I'm going to sell this for 99 cents. Unlimited supply. I will give it a skew. I will give it, uh, I will call it lab 061423. 
for the date. You can make your SKUs up however you'd like. Go back to the core details. I did it. It's a finished product. 2023 apply. Tags. We're going to go back to chat GPT and say I need 13 Etsy keywords for an SVG of a Golden Labrador. Oops, control C, control V, enter. Ah. So uh, we can't have bullet points. We need comma separated. We'll do this over 13, comma, separated Etsy keywords, plural. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I've never seen this before. It's always worked. All right, 13 comma separated keywords. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, perhaps we should use a small I when we say artif or when we write artificial intelligence. It never used to do that. It always would give them to me like this. Uh, it's in the bullet points today for some reason, but uh, well, whatever. We got it. Um, so back to here. Paste those in, click add, boom, we're good. I don't need materials. I don't think I need any of the rest of this stuff. And now we just say publish. Oh, we need a category. Get an error. Please fix the following error category. Add category. I usually just go SVG and tell it that it's clip art and say done. Craft type. I don't care. Now we can publish it. Publish. And let's publish it. Doesn't fall in here right away, but I usually go right away and add it to my advertising campaigns. So we go to marketing, Etsy ads. Scroll down here, change this to non advertised. There it is. I'll turn the advertising on. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, that's how I do it. Pretty simple. The key, I believe, is the uh, way you prompt. Chat GPT. Minimalistic vector icon. And there may be another way to prompt it. I don't know. Uh, this is the one I found uh, basically by skimming or reviewing other people's work uh, in mid-journey. And uh, yeah, I found this prompt that I like and the rest of it you write uh, on your own. Um, yeah. So. If uh, you were struggling with uh, using MidJourney to create SVG files, this is how I do it. Not saying there's not a better way, but this is how I've been doing it. Seems to work. Hopefully, we'll get some sales. Uh, we'll report on that in the future if it's true. But for now, thanks for watching. <laughs>